Welcome back everyone to our Let's Play series of Motorsport Manager. So in our, actually our last two races, we have had what I would consider to be great finishes considering where we are with our car. Uh, our car is still well below even average, so it's hard for me to think that we should be finishing much above the, you know, 10th to 12th place uh, position at best. But the last couple of races, we've been fortunate and we've had some great finishes, despite my lack of paying attention at the weather at times. So at Sydney, we ended up 8th and ninth, and at Rio, 2nd and 4th. So we'll be looking for good things, hopefully, from Munich. And let's take a look first and foremost at our email, and let's run through some of these. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, let's see, one of our drivers is claiming that our engine is holding the team back, blah, blah, blah. And she needs to button it. We're working on it, deal with it. <laughs> You're getting paid quite a bit of money per race to do that, so you shall be fine. All right, let's see what we've got on sponsors. Okay, so we do have one deal open. Hopefully they'll give us a lot of uh, bonus money. And so we'll see. Okay, so we've got one sponsorship offer there. We're going to wait for a couple more to come in. We've got 17 days before the next race. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got. Okay, so we're working on the reliability of our new suspension, at least until our new part is ready to go. And the good news is this particular uh, engine is not one that we're going to use during the races because it's loaded with risky parts. This is looking forward to to next year, because uh, if I remember right, that particular engine is going to be up over 500 on performance. So again, it's not going to help us this year, but it's going to be great as a head start for next year. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's see. Everything is toward reliability. That's what we want. And let's move on. So we've got some scouting reports that'll be coming in here soon. We don't have an immediate need for a driver, so we're in good shape there. Let's see what our emails are for. Okay, so we've got one of the weaker drivers and low quality drivers. Okay, so no luck on the scouting that time. Let's see what, if we're having better luck on our new sponsors. Okay, so we've got a four star and a couple of two stars. So if we can finish seventh or above, which would be nice, but it's really not something we've been able to do very much, nor do I think we're going to be able to do it going forward. And then you got a 13th or above, an 11th or above. Actually, I think the 13th or above is good. It gives us some upfront money. Uh, the bonus for the race isn't all that great. However, maybe we can consistently get that 13th or above and make it worth our while. So we'll take the upfront money. And let's see, we've got 10 days remaining. Okay, so this party is going to be ready right about time for our next race okay so 78 percent there let's go ahead and clear that out i think that's plenty high enough for what we need um i tell you what let's go one more day you'd be amazed at what one or two more days can do for you so that reliability essentially what i'm looking for is about 80 percent that's what i look for okay that should be enough. That gave it another day or two. And now we're at 85, so wonderful. All right, let's see our spoiler. Let's see what we can get. It says 13 days after the race, but again, that's to get both of them all the way uh, to 100%, which we're not worried about. If we can get them uh, to about 70% uh, each, then we'll be in good shape. Not as high as we want, but still not too bad. And then, of course, we still got to work on our gearbox here. So let's go ahead and looks like we got some emails to take a look at. All right, so let's see what we got. Scouting report, another weak driver, that's no good. And another low quality driver. All right, so it needs a few upgrades. Okay, that's not the first time we've seen this email. In fact, I think it's not even the first time we've seen it from this particular driver. Okay, so there we go, 541, actually a little bit higher than I thought on the engine. 
So very nicely done. Let's go ahead and so we've got 541 there, which is a huge improvement. And let's see. So let's go see what we can get on this next part. Again, now we got four slots opened up. The good there's good and bad news there. We're locked out of any epic parts. However, our designer component is producing an additional part for no extra cost or time. That can be huge. So let's see, if we do another five, okay, we're still at 541. So if, if we choose everything the same, now we don't really need that this time. Uh, maybe for some other parts, but we don't really need it this time simply because we've already got one engine at 541. So I'm going to see what is our best option for this other. Uh, let's see. Plus 25 is good. Plus 40 obviously is great. We don't care about reliability. All right, so 581 there, 566. Okay, we might as well just go all the way. And then you can see the legendary, which is plus 90 on the speed. Wow, plus 115 on the speed that is huge of course you get the plus 50 on red zone but if you were building this specifically for the next season then you wouldn't worry about that wow so we're going to have another great engine to deal with all right so let's go ahead and build that again it's expensive one and a half million dollars but we're looking forward to next year let's go ahead and clear out that okay so we're at our next race, let's see. Uh, ninth has been pretty good for us lately. We've been able to get just inside that. So I'm actually going to go ahead and go for that. Part fitting. I don't think we've got any new parts this time. And let's see. Okay, no, we gotta work on our gearbox at some point and get it ready to go. But we do have a new suspension going. Okay, so we're in good shape. So we made it, with our spoiler, we made it to 67%. So not, not exactly where we wanted to be, but pretty good, pretty good overall. All right, one thing I do want to do is, let's go ahead and move these out for right now, because I want to make sure we get our engine up there and it's got quite a bit to go once we start working on the performance. So we'll go ahead and set that up for, you know, some at some point over the next few races, we'll be able to concentrate more on performance and not as much on reliability. Okay, so let's take one more quick look through our parts, make sure we've got everything where we want it. So we're using the best parts here. We are, uh, spoilers are in a little bit better shape. Maybe we won't have to repair those this race. And we're still going to have to make brake repairs for sure. Okay, so we're in good shape. And with that in mind, let's head to the racetrack. Practice and qualifying went uh, about as expected. Really not all that great, uh, but pretty much where I would expect it. We were at <laughs> toward the back of the field. Uh, thankfully, we raced better than we qualify in practice. So here we have, again, sort of the random bonuses based on the, how the AI does the practice session since I'm no longer involved in that. We get a little bit of a race trim bonus, uh, but again, rain has has hit, so we have bonuses not on the dry tires, but on the wet weather tires. If we take a look at the setup, not too, not too bad at all, 95% there. And so we're gonna go soft or medium tires. We've got 17 laps, and again, two pit stops would be the way to go unless you just want to really bog the engine down to save uh, and run at reduced power to save even more fuel, which I'm not terribly interested in doing. Again, as I've mentioned in previous videos, I've done that a lot in the past in other playthroughs and, uh, and trying to get away from that as much as possible. Now, if I think it really gives us a great chance, then I might do it, but for, for the most part, I'm trying to stay away from it. So here we can get eight to 10 laps out of a, a set of soft tires. However, we don't need to get anywhere near that out of these tires because of the fuel. So we can run on high engine mode 
uh, we can we can get six laps here. So we can go six, six, and five and finish the race. So we can actually push these tires a little bit harder than normal. If we come over here, set up again, not bad, 94%. And we can get seven to nine. So one fewer lap than you might think, but again, still well within our, our boundary. We'll do the same thing as far as the fuel here. So one of these, the way I'm playing the strategy is I don't want to bring them in on the same lap unless they are both running uh, fairly far apart, far enough apart that I think that I can reasonably get them in and out of the pits on the same lap without stacking them up at least for more than a couple of seconds. So what we may end up doing is five laps on the first stint for one of the drivers and then six for the other. So we'll see how that goes. In fact, I'm gonna start them both out pushing uh, with the plan B for Walden to push the entire time and for Reeve, maybe not push the entire time. Let's go ahead and get a save in because it's always a good idea to get a save in. And let's get this thing started. Now, first things first, I have to turn on and let them automatically use the energy recovery. Um, it would probably, I'm sure, be better if I did that. But at this particular point in time, it is just, there's too much going on for me to reasonably mess with. All right, so both of our cars are together on the track, 13th and 17th now. Let's see if I see any rain coming last race i missed it but for now it uh, looks like we're in pretty good shape we'll see how that goes i have not built the weather center in the hq so i can see only for very short amounts of time into the future for now so now we are running 13th and 19th i'm not sure why why fetterman is falling back so much doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me should be doing better than that so we're at 14th and 19th but still not that far apart on the actual track itself let's go ahead and spin this around this is more like i'm used to seeing the track i usually like to keep the pit lane at a certain position in my view just so i can keep a frame of reference all right so so far not good we've got our cars are running essentially right together on the track at the very back of the pack. So this is not good. It's doing us no good whatsoever to push these tires. I know the temperatures are, are raised, but that generally doesn't, in the past at least, hasn't made much of any difference. We'll see here if maybe we can make up some positions. Now that we've backed off a little bit, maybe the tire temp will come down a little bit. Uh, if not on these tires, maybe on the next set of tires that we put on. Okay, so here's the, the lap I'm gonna need to pit one of our cars. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, go ahead and put maximum fuel in there. So we're gonna run, try to run six laps. And let's go ahead and fix the one part. Hopefully that'll be the only one we have to fix in this race. And let's go ahead and take the chance so as long as we can get out of here in 17 seconds or better, then the fast stop was worth it. Okay, so far so good there. Wish we were running a little bit higher, but maybe we can pick up some spots through the exchange here. And let's go ahead and swap over to our other driver who is not coming into the pits this time by. All right, let's see how many come into the pits. Uh, looks like just me. <laughs> how about that? It's always lonely when you're the only one coming into the pits like that. All right, we'll set up our pit stop this next time by. And fuel, we'll go ahead and max that out. Uh, parts, go ahead and fix that. Let's go ahead and attack as much as possible on this set of tires before we take them off. We should have enough wear 
so that it's not a problem and sure enough we will let's see we're going to go ahead and go full attack mode there let's go to go we're going to go ahead and push here as well all right so we come out pretty much where we came in so we didn't really pick up much of anything through that pit cycle let's see how the other cars are doing okay looks like a lot of guys are oh they're going to try to do this on one stop that's what they're doing all right so we're really going to need to push here and unfortunately we don't have the speed for it but you can tell by the number of pit stops they're coming in now which is about the time they would need to come in if they were going to try to do this on one stop if you're doing it on two stops there's no reason to run eight laps on your first stint all right so we're 12th and 15th as of now looks like the leader still hasn't come in and they come in now so let's see how how things turn out you can see the leader is going to come out in about sixth or seventh somewhere in that range so that's what speed will do for you you're far enough ahead that even whenever you come in you don't lose nearly as much so 13th and 15th not bad again about what i expect on a normal basis from our cars and then we just hope for some good fortune that will help us uh, during the race to finish even better now, let's see how the cars are doing now looks like we've got a mixture of things we've got a lot of saving going on here of the tires um, we're pushing for all we're worth we're trying to get all the speed we can okay i'm gonna have to make sure that i don't run anybody out okay so we've got plenty of fuel left Okay, so we'll be coming in next time by, okay, so six laps there, and we'll want to fill that up. Uh, we're going to have to make more repairs. Wow, that's a lot. Okay, 6.3 seconds. Okay, wow, a little bit more than I thought it was going to take. So a, a total of a 16-second pit stop. And one more quick glance here, just to make sure. Okay, I think we're okay. Okay, let's go ahead and back off a little bit on our other driver as we swap over view to them. So we're 12th and 15th right now. We're outside of our sponsorship objective, which is ninth. Okay, one pitch stop underway. We'll keep an eye on it there. So 15.6 seconds, a good pitch stop. Very good. You can see good, good, and great there. Very nicely done. So now he's all set for his final stint. We'll go ahead and set up our final car for their final stint. Now this will fill up, instead of 5.46, it'll actually fill up to six, which is enough to get me where I need to go. And let's go ahead and, man, as much as I hate to do this, I tell you what, let's just go ahead and take the chance for a quicker pit stop. And let's just see if we can make it to the end without having to do another repair. We've repaired one of our cars. And remember, all we need is one car, ninth or above, to make it. So we're in good shape, I think. All right, let's see what happens now. Here comes our second car that is going to make the pass. So now we're going to come out 15th and 16th. And you can see already reporting issues with the brakes. But remember, just below, just because it drops below 20 doesn't mean it's going to break. It just means that you're going to have to really pay attention. Okay, so I've forgotten to pay attention very much to the weather. And luckily we're not going to have any rain it looks like so so far so good in this race we're finishing a, we're running so far about where i would have thought and let's see do i see any i'm looking for any wrenches above the cars as we go around the track there you go you can see one retirement there so they've run the car too hard so now we're going to pick up another position there more complaints about 
about the car, which again is understandable. But we're running eighth and tenth. If we can again just keep one car at ninth or above, we'll get that extra bonus money from the sponsors. So we got two laps remaining, as just popped up on the screen as the leader crosses the finish line. We've got plenty of fuel to make these final two laps. And I am trying very hard not to push. Okay, 21% now. And there we go. I was just about to check, but the gearbox is now down to 19% on our eighth place car. Brakes, oh my goodness, brakes are really, really low. Okay, but let's go ahead and conserve. You can see our 10th place car is well ahead. So we're gonna turn down and hopefully we can make this car last. We just need ninth or above. So we've slowed way down with our 10th place car. And we're hoping we can make it. Let's see, 19% still good there, but it can drop very rapidly once it gets below 20%. All right, looks like we're gonna make it and be just fine. Excellent job, eight, eight and 10th, which is what we needed. Again, it's all about the sponsor objective at this point, trying to, to get as much money as we possibly can uh, so that we can improve the car, new parts, new HQ buildings, all of that sort of thing. So very well done. We finished midfield, which as far as I'm concerned is a little bit above where we should be given that our car is eighth on the grid out of 10 and our drivers are essentially midfield. So that would lead me to believe that 14th to 15th somewhere in that range would be a an on par finish for us so anything above that is excellent okay so you can see we did finish above the sponsor objective of ninth so we will get that bonus money so let's go ahead and see what happens in the team championship we're now down to fifth but that's not bad we've doubled up on the points from sixth and then we're well ahead of seventh because they've only gotten two points for the year. So all in all, things are going very well in the all-important team comp uh, competition, which is where all the money is paid from. They pay trophies for individual place finishes, but they pay money for the teams. All right, you can see sixth place finish as opposed to seventh. There, so we're great on happiness now. We're, for all intents and purposes, maxed out on happiness. Another little bit of increased marketability. And our relationship status with our mechanics are both looking very good. And this time, only 1.27 million lost. So things are looking good financially. Uh, overall, I'm very happy with where things are. Again, we're not winning races. We're not finishing on the podium. We're not ready for that kind of thing just yet. However, we're getting there because we're working on the car. We're getting some new parts. I'm very excited about the engines we're going to have to start next season. And even though we're not even quite halfway through this season, I'm very excited about the engines and we're going to start working on some new gearboxes and so on. So things are looking good financially as well as for the car in the future. So thank you very much for joining me in this video. And stay tuned for more Motorsport Manager.